What's up, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, hipster and hip sets? Nah, that's not even gonna work. How y'all doing today, man? And welcome to Buddhist Place. I just woke up, and uh, I apologize for that, but <laughs> I just woke up. But you won't. Anywho, how y'all doing today? As you can hear, the baby's in the background somewhere, being the baby that it is. <laughs> so today. I wanted to talk to you about, well, I had a couple subjects. I'm going to pick one. Um, I'm going to pick work ethic today. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pick work ethic. I'm going to pick that for a particular reason. And uh, it's going to be hopefully quick. And uh, hopefully I don't go off on a tangent. So, in this time, right now, there is a bunch of people who are currently out of work and about to be out of work, and there's individuals who are coming back into the workplace. But what I want to talk to you about is the basic, your basic work ethic. To me, and it's because probably I'm military, so I'm kind of weird like that. But your work ethic dictates who you are. It lets people know that, hey, I there's a certain standard that I, that I bring to the table and that I'm going to, your company would be more than it, you need me in your company because I bring this to the table, my work ethic my integrity what I found like I had I had a dis discussion with a young man who is oh my god he's 24 23 24 and another individual who's 19 and another individual who is 30 we had a conversation while sitting down and eating and the conversation somehow got around to work. And the younger guys, they don't understand what, what work means. To them, work means I get a check. That's what it means. It doesn't mean that, that I'm dedicated or whatever. It just means you, I come to work, you pay me, I get a check. That's it. That's what we're dealing with. And to older people, that check represents how you pay for your bills, how you manage your life. So when I, we got to the discussion, the, the one thing that was abundantly clear to me when I asked the question about calling in or sick or what constitutes you being sick or when do you not want to go to work? And I, the young people, and I was young at one time, but I always worked in the military, so I don't understand, you know. But they were under the, this one young guy said, well, when I, when I get paid, I don't want to go to work. I said, well, that's when you need to go to work. Why do I need to go to work when I get paid? I need to go, you know, party, have a good time. So this is the guy that when he gets his check, they get paid on Thursday or Friday. If you get paid on a Friday, he's not going to be there. If he gets his check Thursday night, he'll be broke by Saturday. He'll be there on Monday because they ain't got no more money. But what that shows to the people that you work for is that you're only in this for the money. You're not... I know we all work for money and I understand that we all work for money and I hate the fact that we work for money but you have to show like if you don't have a job what do you do this pandemic is teaching some people that hey a job is kind of important eh, for some people they don't want really to give a ham sandwich they really don't care so, what I'm trying to tell you is that young people, what makes, if, if you work 
if you're supposed to, if you work at, like uh, fast food restaurants, uh, that that is a that job there is to teach you fast food restaurants when you first start out in high school is to teach you how to work. It is to teach you the navigation through work, how to manage a paycheck, how to manage getting a job, how to be on time. That's what that job is. McDonald's, Burger King, those jobs are to teach you how to be a part of a work society. That's what they're there for. And you guys don't get it. You think it's just to make a check. It is to teach you. It is a training process. That's what it is. The other thing that it does is it starts to teach you how to manage your money. If you get paid on Friday and you go out partying on Friday night and you don't have no money on Saturday, then you need to manage your money better. Believe me, I know this because I have been that guy who spent his whole paycheck at establishments, partying, drinking, having a good time. I've done that. So what I'm telling you is you have to learn how to work. And it's a process. Then I had, I'm going to just, just hit on this one last one thing and I'm going to be done. Uh, one of the guys said, well, why are you all these old people? Old people. I'm 60, almost 60, so I'll be 60 in five months. Old people. Why don't you people go home and, and let the young people work? We work rings around you. You're just in the way. Yes, we're in the way, but we come to work every day. Whereas you might have a reason you went out with your girlfriend, you don't feel good, and you don't come to work on Wednesday, or you went out on a, you see what I'm saying? We're there every day. That's why. That's what that is. We're normally 15, 15 to 20 minutes early. And if you tell the boss I ask you to stay late, you normally will because that's what you do. They don't want to pay you for it, but they'll, they'll let you stay late. It's just the way it is. So what I'm telling you is look at your life and what you do and how you can better your situation in your job and your job skills. I'm not saying ever I'm not ever saying be uh, what's the word I want to use uh, God I can't think of the word anyway where where you just you you know I, I'm I, when I, I learned uh, w the one thing that I learned when I was in the after I got out of the military is that uh, companies are, are are not loyal to you to where they will always keep you hired and always pay you and all that no. If a better situation comes up for you and your situation that pays you more money, gives you better hours, gives you more opportunity, then you need to put yourself in a position to move to that next job. But be respectful. Give them ample, ample time to replace you. You know what I'm saying? That's, all, that's the minimum. Hey, uh, Another opportunity came forward for me over here, um, it's, it, and uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and transition in there. Um, here's your two-week notice. And that's it. Oh, that's 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 it in a nutshell. You know, that that's it in a nutshell. Um, that I that I want I want to address right here on this on this one subject today. I hope and pray that each and every one of you is is staying safe, social distancing, and wearing a mask. I would have a mask on, but I'm talking to you on a camera. We're kind of safe this way. Ah, uh, yeah. You guys have a wonderful, beautiful day. 
If you can't be kind, be kind at it. Respect yourself and respect others. Because without respect, there's nothing. You guys take care, man. I appreciate you. Love you and cherish you. Thank you. You guys take care. Y'all bye-bye.